Peace, power, prosperity, family. I'm going to be touching on a, a touchy subject. Uh, get your oils in my link, link in the bio. Uh, my dot Dutera uh, slash King Pamu. It'll be in the link of bio. Make sure you get yourself some oils. If you also want to uh, be a part of the family and earn income just for sharing the oils, make sure you become a member. Get yourself a kit and uh, try the oils out and learn how to make money. Build income, build wealth with yourself and health. Because health brings wealth, so remember that. But uh, I wrote some notes down. And like I said, I want to talk about polygamy. Uh, or better yet, polyamorous relationships. So... Hold on one second for me. So, uh, like I said, I want to talk about polyamory. First off, this is King Pamu. Uh, God King Pamu, by the way. Uh, YouTube name King Pamu, but I am a God. That's why. That's what I refer myself to. Uh, and I believe that we are all gods. Okay? You just have to know your power. Um, but yes, I am God King Pamu, and I'm here to talk about uh, poly. Amorous relationships. Now, this is a touchy subject because, especially in, uh, well, I mean, it is all around the world, but for me, since I am in the Western general of uh, the population, in the Western population, um, monogamy is has been pushed very thoroughly, and it keeps people closed-minded and wanting to explore in uh, polyamorous relationships and I have it's all, it always been brought up throughout my life being here on earth but never where I thought about it actually doing it myself until recently until I actually took the took my ego out of it and took the time um on uh took the time on thinking about polyamorous relationships uh and 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 just having an open mind about it and really thinking about it and it it it, it definitely and I'll I'll go through everything but for me it definitely seems that it benefits everyone because everyone is literally satisfied you know yes you're sharing someone with someone else uh the opposite or maybe even the same sex however I truly feel that if, if we're all souls that means not you or no one else owns you or them you don't own nobody and no one owns you so you got to realize this consciously and once I realize that that the pussy is never yours it's not yours and the same goes for the women or whatever type of relationship you're in, it is not yours. You do not own that person. You do not own that person. And I'll say it one more time. You do not own that person. So realize that you don't own that person. That person doesn't own you. But you all are agreeing on uh, on an agreement on building a relationship, being together as one. That is an agreement. That's not by force. Okay? So... First off, I want to talk about uh, the definitions, okay? So, polyamory. The definition for polyamory is the practice of engaging in multiple romantic and typically sexual relationships with the consent of all people involved. So, key word, with the consent of all people involved. So, uh, a lot of y'all don't know, uh, and I explain this some more in a little bit as well is that we all have been in polygamous relationships okay polyamorous relationships and I'll explain uh, I'll, I'll explain after I get done with these definitions on that um, but the next one okay and then I wrote I also wrote down uh, different types of relationships which is friendship domestic partnership I'm not gonna go through the meanings of them if you don't know uh, look it up yourself, but friendship, domestic partner, marriage, monogamy, uh, polarity, uh, platonic love, open relationship, open marriage, uh, civil, uh, civil union, 
and uh, codependency. Okay, so uh, playing playing polyand polyandry. If I'm not saying it right, I don't care. Y'all know what I mean. Look it up. Polyand polyandry. Uh, polyandry. I think. Okay. So anyway, a polyandry is a female that has more than one male. Okay, several one uh two or several males okay now it's a difference with these terms that's why i'm going over these definition terms with you all because it's a difference with them and now you have uh polygamy poly 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 polygamy okay there we go now you have polygamy which is the uh the practice of a man having more than one wife okay that's polygamy all right now the difference with uh Polygamy and poly, poly, polyandry is that polyandry is the female that can have more than one husband, and polygamy is the uh, male can have more than one wife. Okay, but a poly uh, polyamory is where both partners can have other partners in a relationship as well. Okay, so you see now you see that's the difference right there. Okay, now on to the real juicy stuff. All right, so. I'm just gonna explain to you, uh, in my in my own opinion, and I'm gonna also give you facts as well. Because, excuse me, you have to have facts as well when you're bringing points and bringing claims. Okay, I'm not here to change anybody's mindset. Don't 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 get it twisted. I'm not here to change your mindset on it. I just want you to have a open uh, uh, a thought about it. Okay, and it, it could possibly. Uh, help your relationships become stronger and a, a stronger bond a stronger trust and, and building and, and knowing that it's, it's all about building with a community because keywords uh, it takes a village to raise a child so I'll, I'm going to be explaining that as well so don't don't think that I'm here to change your mind on things because I can't do anything to change your mind that is up to you that is up to you and only you to change your mind. I don't care how many people you go through, you ask for help, ask for opinion on. Regardless of all those people giving you their own opinions on something, you are the one that chooses. So know that you are the one that makes the choice. With that being said, let's get it started. So, fellas, <laughs> I'm going to definitely get up on y'all as, uh, as well, queens too. But uh, kings, it's a woman's choice. All right, like I said before, the vagina is not yours, and your your uh, penis is not theirs either. So you have to realize that. But more 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 than likely, it's a woman's choice. Why? Because a lot of you, women are just magnetic beings. Okay, very energetic beings. You know, very emotional. Uh, they know how to display their their energetic selves very very well. Okay, and it attracts men to them. Okay, you know, a lot of y'all be in a relationships and your girl get DMs out of the out of the butt, like all all. Hey, sugar, I, you know, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. You know, and you gotta realize that that woman could be doing all type of things with that. But if she's loyal, you know, if she's just strictly for you, you gotta know. You gotta know this, you know, and, and be grateful for that. But you gotta know that it's the woman's choice, cause men will. It's a little more challenging for men to get sex, but for women, eh, a little easy for y'all. <laughs> it's a little easy for y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all can get sex a lot easier than men. I'll say that. All right, that's a fact. Okay, so it's a woman's choice that she is the one that chooses the man. See, that's what you got to realize too, kings. That when you let the woman choose you, she's gonna be down for you. This is facts. I've 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 been through that. Um, uh, it didn't work out, but I know how it is. It's, when you, when you know, you, you, you got a good woman, she gonna be down for you no matter what circumstance you in. Okay, so you have to realize, y'all, that it's the woman's choice. It's, it's really not your choice when it comes down to, uh, when it comes down to it in relationships with sex or whatever that is, just trying to get with a woman. She chooses. Okay, now for my melanin people, all right, monogamy. It's not our it's not our natural way of, of living. Okay. Now, 
uh, monogamy, monogamy came from the European standpoints, their their point of views. Okay, nothing against Europeans, but that's just the truth. Uh, they they have started the whole uh, being in one relationship, you know, be, and, and it all goes back to the whole ego thing, you know, and, and men wanting to have control over women when no one has control over anybody. So, you know, are women naturally more submissive? Yeah, because they're feminine energy. So they're going to just that's they're tapping into their feminine side is being uh, submissive to a king, just like. With the king, his he's he's a giver, so he wants to give to the woman as the woman is the receiver. Feminine energy is receiving, masculine is the giver. Okay, you gotta you gotta realize two opposites, two opposites. All right. So, like I said, monogamy came from the European point of uh, point of view. Okay, uh, and you know you got in your Christianity Bible, which was uh, in that particular uh, that book was made by Europeans. All right. So we got to we got to realize these things of of what's going on with that, okay? Now, the mindset, okay? Like I said, we always melanin people, we always been um uh in polyamorous relationships. And it's not of course it's not just melanin people, but since I'm melanin, I'm speaking on behalf of melanin people that we always have. And again, since we've been uh colonized and indoctrinated indoctrinated and programmed by certain ways of living religions and and uh schooling uh it 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 changed our total viewpoint our whole world of of how we do things and we always again we always been polygamous we always been in uh polyamorous relationships you know because we don't just connect with one person all right so um and it's it's, it's all about a sense of family Okay, so it's building that structure, and when you realize it, you know you're 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 gonna have a partner. Your partner ain't gonna want to do everything with you. They ain't gonna you know they ain't gonna want to uh, go out to dance with you or go out to eat somewhere or you know do some fun that you want to do. Your partner might not want to do that. So that's where it's also uh, could be a benefit as well with uh, polyamorous relationships because. When you don't want to do something, at least your partner has some some another partner that they could uh, do things with and enjoy their self with, enjoy their time with, and you don't have to do that. And you know it creates less headaches, less arguments, and 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 more pure love. See, that's what it's generally generally is. It's just having that love and it's extending your love. See, when you take yourself out of this body and you just realize that I am not this physical body body i am a being within this body a light being within this body i am god a god i am god within this body so therefore my experiences is it, it, it's only limited to the physical but i am a spiritual being so i am a free being and i can do what i feel and please and i choose to that doesn't mean i have to lie that doesn't mean i have to cheat that doesn't mean i have to steal that means that i am open and I'd be truthful with if if whoever I'm with I'd be truthful with them uh, how I feel about uh, things and, and just be honest and just open up it's all about communication see the reason a lot of uh, relationships fail is because they're not open they're not communicating with their partner effectively even if you are communicating you're not you're still holding back you're not letting it all out you know, you both have to come to an understanding, overstanding, and understanding of what each other. You know what I'm saying? And that's again, polyamorous is still relationships, regardless of you know what it is. Uh, being with multiple people, you're you're having more relationships, so you have to have that balance in your mindset. You have to love yourself, you know, because it's not for everyone. That's just the truth about it. Okay, so the whole thing with polyamorous, right? And it gets to this point where, so what's going on with monogamy? So what's really what's really going on with monogamy relationship? Um, why why are we constantly going through issues? You know, cause I, you know, my family, uh, my mom and dad, they're not together. You know, and I see it's a constant cycle. It's a constant pattern with with the things that we do. We think we happy with somebody, but it turns out that's not what it is at all. 
And why, why is that? Okay, so 50%, you have 50% of people that are married get divorced. 50%, okay? You have 60% of people that uh, are in relationships with someone are cheating, okay? Men and women, you know, ain't nobody excluded from this. Everybody is guilty on that, on that fact, okay? That even me. I have cheated before and I'll never do it again. <laughs> I'll never ever do it again because I wasn't being honest with my person. And it, was, it wasn't, it, it, and of course you're hurting the other person, but it's really your, you that are hurting yourself. Okay. Especially if you have a person that's really down for you. I mean, down for you and you're going to be doing these things. You can't at least talk to them about it. Then it's clearly something within yourself. It's a fear based thing. It all goes back into fear. That you're going to lose the person and they're going to find someone better than you. See, the thing is, when you know who you are, what you are, why would you fear that with them being with someone else? Let them be with someone else. Let them. It's nothing wrong with that. It's a connection. You just fear that. You, you, just, you just fear them being with someone and you don't have control over that person. But yet... Especially if you cheating, you get to do whatever you want to do. And especially for the men. I know some men that do this. You get to do whatever you want to do and she can't do shit. Excuse my language, but this is facts. You can't do you can't do a thing. I mean she can't do a thing. She can't be with no other man, but you could be all the women you want. And you won't even at least tell her you're not a man. You're not a god. You're not a king. And this is what I'm talking about. This is me stepping into my godly power. I am a god king. Because I have realized that I'm not fit for just one person. And we have multiple soulmates. We have multiple soulmates. Okay? So you got to realize that, okay, I, I'm. you always connect. And that's the thing. We always been in polygamies. I mean, we always been in polyamorous relationships. It may not, it may not been conscious of it. And, 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 and you may not been truthful about it. You may have cheated, but that's a polyamorous relationship. That's not a monogamy. So you got to realize these things, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You caught your partner cheating on one partner. You cheated. You cheat on them because they cheated on you. You see what I'm saying? And that's how relationships break apart. That's why family structures are not working. <laughs> because people are not satisfied. People are not speaking about what they're feeling on the inside they're not loving their selves and we need to love ourselves okay so like i said 50 percent of divorce of uh marriages fail okay uh like i said we don't just connect with one person um we're uh we're always in relationships okay uh and we we need healing it's, it's that simple people lie cheat steal Hiding their true feelings. People are, like I said, people are never satisfied. It don't matter who you are. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, 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 and like I said, once you understand that, you realize that it's okay. It's okay to, to share the person you love because as long as they're getting the respect that they deserve, because you want that other person to be happy. See, that's why I realized I, I want someone, I want my queen, my goddess to be happy. Just as much she she wants me to be happy, she's gonna support my happy. I'm gonna support her happiness. If she wants to be with another man, that's fine. That's per perfectly okay. As long as he respects you, and we and, and you know, I, I, of course, I wanna I wanna meet with him. I wanna know where his head at. I wanna know who he's been around, what things he's gotten into, because that's how you build relationships. They say your network is your net worth. And once you once you realize that that okay, if I just connect with other people, you know, and you know this this person this this uh, this person that's that's filling my my queen right here, they had to have a past connection, you know, because again we're souls, okay. Sex sex is just energy and motion. It's not what you think it is. <laughs> it's not what it's not just a physical thing. It's it, it's spiritual because you can have sex without even penetrating a woman. So know that most definitely. So that being said, on there, like I said, people have always been in polyamorous relationships. Okay, 
um, they just cheated on that person. 60%, y'all. Alright? Now, let's keep this going. Oh, I'm sorry. 66%. <laughs> yeah, 66% uh, of y'all are cheating. That's a fact. That's a fact. Alright? <laughs> and if you're not cheating, you're thinking about it. <laughs> Alright? Now, oh, now 40% of, of marriages are sexless. Yes. No sex at all. No intercourse or nothing. That's a boring relationship. Okay, this is a fact that within two, two to four years of being in a committed relationship with someone, you lose that physical attraction for them and 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 this happened for me i didn't think it was gonna happen but it definitely did i thought i always have attraction for this queen but i i didn't have it like i used to and it it made me want it to be i was like i want to be with other women and at first you know i, I thought it was wrong to just want to feel that way because this she, this queen was really down for me but it was nothing wrong with that you know it was nothing wrong with that at all it was just my my soul wanting to connect with other people you know, you got to do what you have to do what you can for your soul. Don't ever lie to yourself. Don't lie to nobody else. It is no need to lie, y'all. See, that's our problem. Y'all lie out y'all ass. Y'all continue to lie, you know, um, men and women. But I'm, I'm speaking on the men, y'all men, because I, I know from a man point perspective, y'all continue to lie to these women. And you, you create heartaches. You create pain. See, that's another thing. That's that's how we get this ease as well, because of heartaches, because of that lying, cheating. See, that's a that's low frequency things that you all are doing. OK, that's why things don't go out. That's why things don't work out for you. That's why you can't manifest your true desires, that true uh, person you want in your life, because you're you're not satisfied with yourself. You're not seeing how you can build. You're just, you know, even with polyamorous, you know, I'm all love for it. However, if you're just looking at it as sex, then you got a long way coming. This ain't for you. You think you think that sorry, it's not for you. You better stick with your stick to yourself or monogamy or whatever you're going to do. It ain't for you. OK, because that's not what this is about. It's about connections. OK, I don't want to just I don't want to just have sex with a woman. I want to connect with her. OK. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, in all six senses, or eight the eight senses. I want to connect with with her, connect with her mind, not just her vagina. I already know about the vagina. <laughs> I mean, come on now. I want to I want to feel you on a spiritual aspect, Queen. I want to know who you truly are. Let's share energy together. That's what it's all about. All right. So people are not addressing the issues in relationships. They don't get to the point. And I asked my dad this this question. I was like, why you don't think none of your relationships worked out? And he was explaining me to the relationships. And he's basically he basically said that we didn't communicate. Well, excuse me. We didn't we didn't have good. Uh, we didn't have good communication, and when yeah, when he explained that to me, I was like, okay, it makes sense. Um, and yeah, that's basically what he told me. You know, it wasn't it wasn't good communication. Um, we didn't. It, it wasn't no trust, and it, and it definitely wasn't no self love. That's another thing. You keep going into a hopping from relationship to relationship, and you haven't even loved yourself. How can you love? How can you love someone else when you haven't loved yourself? How? How can you love yourself when you... How can you love yourself? I mean, how can you love someone else when you haven't loved yourself? Come on. Come on, family. Alright? So, take that in. Let that get in your brain. Go on the riots and understand what I'm saying. Okay? And like I said, people, they're running off. It's a fear-based thing, okay? Um, and you're just hurting yourself. Not only the other person, but yourself, definitely, okay? We must, uh, we must work on ourselves before we can work on loving someone else, 
okay? Uh, man, when a man calls another woman uh, uh, the be worried a bitch, um, it's the bitch in himself. See, you know, <laughs> y'all might get heated on this, but I don't care. I'm speaking the truth because... I'm a free spirit soul, all right? <laughs> free spirited God. So anyway, you, you, yeah, you, you're, you're the bitch, because when you know when you say these things, you don't realize that you have feminine in yourself. You, you know, men be like, I don't like that emotional stuff women do. Well, it doesn't make sense. What? If you truly know a woman, a woman is emotional. They run off their emotions, all right. And as men, we don't run off our emotions as much as women do. Okay? But that doesn't mean we don't have emotions. Because y'all definitely get emotional. That's a fact. Y'all will kill over women. Alright? That's a fact. So don't get it twisted on that aspect. They just know how to show their emotions a lot better than us. Alright? But they're... they're you know that you know you saying these things. You know you you doing all type of crazy thing. Now I'm not giving excuses for the women. However, as men, if you are if you say you're an alpha, if you say you are a god, if you you know you're a king, you gotta act like it. You gotta act like it. Stop acting like a little b boy, okay? And step up to your power. Step up to your power. All right. Um. And it's a lot of many other things um, with sex, and I'll, I'll get to get on this on another video. Uh, you know, you can manifest with uh, with your partner or partners. Okay, uh, having uh, having energetic sex, physical sex, mental sex, you can literally tap into the spirit power. See, because we're we're magical beings. Okay, we make magic every day. All right. So you got to realize that yourself, people, you know, you, you make your you're magical. OK, you could think magic exists. Magic ain't nothing but energy. It's just another term for, you know, all these n names and stuff, you know, but we got to got to say something for people to understand what we're talking about. <laughs> but uh, mag like I said, magic is nothing but energy. So um, y'all, y'all, you got to get that re realize that. In your consciousness, okay, that you can manifest even more through sex magic, okay, or uh, tan uh, tantra, tantra healing. You know, sex can heal you if done properly. All right, that's why you got to be aware of your sex partner. You know, all the partners that they have, because we have to, you know, we got to cleanse ourselves of our of our spirits. You know, like I said. I'm all love for a polyamorous relationship. However, you know, I do know that that is multiple partners. All right. But if everyone, if we all heal together, it wouldn't be nothing attached to pain and all that. It wouldn't be attached onto your body. Even, if, you know, even if you have that, you have multiple partners. OK, because you know how to heal. And that's one of the things you could do with that being said. Even in the Bible, it says, are ye not gods? Are ye... Come on now. Are ye not gods? We are creators ourselves. You create every day. When you go to sleep and you dream, that's creating. You literally create your own world. Step into y'all power. You see, y'all got to realize this. This you know, whole rise is going on. Okay. Another thing, frequencies and vibrations. Depending on, see... The whole point of being righteous, the whole point of, of, uh, again, of, of not cheating, of not lying, you know, trusting that person, the, you know, uh, not having trust, uh, just any negative hate, fear, all those are lower vibrations, okay? And when you realize, you think about it and know that everything is energy. All right. My hand is energy. OK, this phone I'm recording off of is made out of energy. You are made out of energy. All right. Everything is energy. All right. You want to be at a certain frequency. So lower entities can't mess with you. They can't they can't F with you. All right. Because you're vibrating way too high. And as as human beings, as as uh, as souls, since we're very powerful, 
we we have to realize what we say, what we do, what we think, how we speak to people, what we're doing to people. Okay, because those those things that I listed are lower frequency vibrations, and and that could bring you at a lower frequency and attract you to the people that you don't want to be around. But you are a reflection. There are they are a reflection of you. Okay, because you're vibrating on the same frequency that they are. So. I go over down another topic. See, so much stuff, you know. But it all, it, everything aligns together. Okay, so you are creator, creator God. You are God. You create your world, your destiny. Okay, so it's all just coming into terms with with inner peace and and, and realizing that the ego we attach the ego suit so like the I, I am this, I am that. You're you're just you're just attaching yourself to the to the avatar that you are within, and you're making yourself become a slave to the physical realm. All right. See, there's nothing wrong with money. However, money is an illusion. It doesn't exist. We put a label on it. See, that's the thing. Animals don't use money. They use survival instincts, and we put a label on money. Therefore, it has became the new food. See, hunting never stopped. We just switched it in for currency. You see what I'm saying? This is all real top knowledge right here. All right. So, like I said, it's coming to terms with your inner self. Uh, you want to, you know, especially if you're having problems with your partner, you want to you wanna be open with them. And you have to be honest. If you're cheating on them, tell them. Just tell them. So many times where, you know, even, even for me, you know, I, I'm guilty as charged, y'all. I told a, uh, I never told a partner that I cheated on her and she never knew. Um, but I, I, I have. And the reason I didn't tell her is because I, I feared. And I know it, it all, I know this from experience. It all goes back into fear. You're fearing that that person might leave you. You might, you know, saying you mess with all these other people and, you know you got a good thing back at home but yet you continue to do what you do you continue to lie you continue to look them in the eye like nothing has happened how can you do that how can you how can you look at the person that loves you sincerely and would do anything for you how can you just go against them like that and not even let them know that's that's you know, every, to each their own. However, for me, I'm a genuine person, and I have to be truthful with myself, especially myself, and to others I come in contact with. Everything I have said is all. It all it all comes with truth. We have three brains: this brain up here, the heart brain, and the gut brain. Okay, they're all brains, and they all they all work differently on their own. All right. You got to tap into these things, tap into your body, learn your body, learn yourself, learn people, you know, all right. It's been way too many times where we, we, we hurt each other because we're not honest. We're not speaking up. We don't trust the person. We think that person's going to hurt us, but it's not a competition. That's what you have to realize. So you have to realize that everything we do, it's, it has nothing to do with competition. We make it into a competition we literally make these things into a competition but i'm not competing like i said if my queen wants to be with another another king he has to be a king he has to be a god because i'm not allowing her to be with any lower entities oh of course not but if he's on his purpose on his divine right i'm all up for that and and that makes it even better for me because now i can connect to another male and and we can really get things going and build we all build together we all build structure build a family see that's what it's all about building family it's for the next generation after us because family is is that's what seems to tear us down and that's that's why i bring this up because it's really it's all about connections it's all about family that's why I'm, you know with monogamy relationships i I've learned that 50% don't work out and 60%, 66% people are cheating as of right now or have cheated. Okay. And not or and have cheated. 
So that's why I'm coming to you all about this. And again, it's not to change your mind. It's to it's it's, it's I'm I'm pretty much really debating, but it's to help you have a uh, help you see, you know, what is truly going on because family structures are are being targeted. Families are being targeted for uh, you know, because it it it, it brings it brings communities together. It brings things together. Imagine this. Just imagine this. That you have an open relationship with with your your man or your woman, and y'all and y'all both y'all both in a polyamorous relationship. Y'all both, you know, y'all let go of the ego. Y'all don't get jealous over what the other person does, who they have sex with, who they with, who they hang out with, whatever that is. You 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 know deep down that they are happy, and you are happy. And y'all are always honest with each other. Y'all don't lie to each other about a damn thing. Uh, not a thing. Y'all are always open-minded. Y'all talk to each other about y'all other relationships with people. Y'all and y'all, not only that, y'all even get together and build together. What is wrong with that? Is that literally not better than the traditional way of what we've been doing? The traditional way of doing things? I mean, everyone has their own opinion, of course. And I respect everyone's opinion. I respect how you feel, how you think. If you got a problem with me saying that, I respect that. But just think about it. You're not hurting no one. No one's hurting you. You all, we're all in agreement with one another. If that ain't nothing, if if that it wouldn't help the world to become better, then I don't know. Because... Everyone thinks we in competition and this ain't about competition. This is about growth. <laughs> this is about growth and expansion. All right. We're here to expand to get together, to learn, to connect. All right. Like again, monogamy is force. Polyamorous is a choice. Okay. You are forced to stay with that person. You are forced to be with that person for the rest of your life and no one else. So, with that being said, y'all, um, I'm going to get up on that out of here, and uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I had to, I had to, I know this video a little long, but I had to drop the jewels on it, you know, because I, I feel like this is very good for a, a lot of people. Now, again, it's not for everybody, of course, but um, me, myself, I have put the information in, I mean, the research into it. Uh, done the research and I, I'm just want to learn more about this and I'm excited too because being open to something like this is something new for me you know I, I love new things I love doing something new I'm tired of doing the same old things especially if it doesn't work <laughs> it just doesn't work so um yeah so I'm glad y'all uh hope you all enjoy Thank you for watching. Uh, kudos to you for watching the whole video. Uh, I love y'all. Peace, power, prosperity. Do your research, y'all. Learn yourself. Most importantly, love yourself. Show yourself love. Do what you can to help improve your health, to improve your wealth. You manifest anything you desire. You just have to heal from the past and let go of things that no longer serve you. All right. So, peace, power, prosperity. I love y'all. I'm out.